so welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. I have not done a productive thing outside all day today up until about an hour ago. It has been a miserable day. I uh, would get an inch of snow and then it would melt and we get another inch of snow and it would melt. It must have did that three or four times today but I came down here this evening to at least get this big white oak log squared up on the sawmill. I will uh, finish this up tomorrow. I put this on here the other day when the guys came to uh, install the wood stove up in the building and I never got any further on it but I'm telling you this is an absolute dandy right here this is 18 inches wide right here tomorrow we'll put some water on that get the sawdust off 18 inches wide clear as a bell beautiful beautiful log right here but these things right here they're a handful you know this mill right here the LX150 it's got a pretty big capacity I think I can saw up to a 36 inch log, but it's a manual mill. Now this takes a lot of work out of it, but it, you know, you still a lot of time involved. You're hooking up straps, you're moving things around. The last thing you want to do is drop something this heavy on the mill. So I kind of take my time, think it through a little bit, but uh, I've got her beat now. Tomorrow I'll take a few more boards off of this, flip it one more time, and uh, man, I'll make some nice lumber out of this really nice stuff I could just stare at this so it's getting pretty dark and it's uh, snowing pretty hard right now I will report back tomorrow from down at the sawmill all right we are headed back down to the sawmill to finish up that big white oak we had uh, quite a bit of snow this morning probably around three inches everything was covered but uh, most of it is melted off still just a little bit on the ground right now so this morning I got up about 4 a.m. and I was on the computer for a little bit doing some editing, answering a few comments, and I didn't have a lot to do and it was about 5 o'clock and I thought, you know what, it's snowing outside, it's windy, it's not going to get light for a couple hours, so I'm going to take a second sleep. That's what we call it in our family. That is, if you get up pretty early and then kind of go back to bed for a little bit, on the rarest of occasions I do that. Well, I did that this morning. I laid down on the couch about 5 a.m., probably slept till about 7, and when you do that, at least for me, I remember all my dreams, and I had the strangest dream, it was, and I remember everything about it, like in very, very clear detail. I remember everything, but we had bought a house in a housing plan just out the road. Uh, it was weird. It was a nice house. But I had all this equipment and everything kind of set up in the yard. I was helping some neighbor with the excavator take a tree down. I didn't fit in. I really didn't. They're all nice people in the dream, but uh, it was really weird. It was. So I was glad to wake up and realize that I still live where I do. So I have uh, three sides of this log squared up. It's really nice, clear white oak. Uh, it's about 18 inches wide right here. I'm kind of debating what I want out of this, but I think... You know, here's the center of the log right down here, about nine inches down. I may take a couple pieces of eight quarter off of this. Eight quarter clear white oak. That You know, that would be two inches thick, 18 inches wide. You could always resaw it if you need to. But, uh, yeah, I think that's what I'll start off with. I'll take two pieces of eight quarter off of this. Then we'll flip this over, square up that other side. And then uh, we'll figure out what we're, what we're going to do with it from there. This log, by the way, it came from a tree uh, down near the pond. It was dead standing for probably, I don't know, a year and a half or two years. And it was a big old dangerous tree. Had some hard lean to it. A lot of weight on the one side. Had a bunch of dead limbs up there. And I actually got a hold of my buddy Pete. He's on YouTube. Goes by Nuts319. He is a very, very good logger. And he was kind enough to come up and drop this tree for me. It was just a little bit, a little bit more than I felt comfortable doing. And uh, but he got it on the ground. I brought it up here to the yard, and I sawed the next two logs. This is the butt log, and it has been sitting over in that pile ever since. But anyway, let's fire up the mill. We'll let it warm up for a bit, and uh, get started.
All right, we have been whittling away at this big white oak now for a little while, and uh, it's coming out really nice. Uh, I've got some more 18-inch wide boards right here. I just flipped it up. Now, I do have a big crack that runs all the way through that log, so I've been trying to kind of work around that. I'm going to take a few pieces off of here, some nice four-quarter pieces down here. This is the center of the log right here, as you can see, so I'm staying away from that. This section right here will be just used for firewood, but there's still a lot more lumber left in this log here. But something worth a mention, when I flipped that log that last time, you know, I was using the thumb on the excavator, you've gotta be careful doing that uh, in softer woods. This white oak is so hard though, uh, it doesn't hurt it as all, at all. You know, I can just pick it up, bring it over here to these couple stringers on the ground, flip it over, and set it back on. A couple points I'm trying to get across in this video is this. If you are in the market for a manual sawmill and you think you're going to get these giant logs and just crank out a bunch of lumber and it's going to be easy peasy, it's not. It's definitely a lot of work and you need a machine to move those logs around. You don't need an excavator like that, but you're going to need a decent sized tractor or a skid loader or maybe two or three people to help you turn those logs because they're very heavy. However, I will say this is by far one of the most rewarding things and enjoyable things for me to do is to come down here to the sawmill and make these beautiful boards. It's just relaxing and it just kind of gives you a good feeling. You know, like I said, that log was a dead tree standing in the woods down there, probably standing dead for a year and a half or two years, I don't even know. Pete came down and dropped it, got it up here to the yard and that was probably I don't know, that was almost a year ago now. And here it is on the sawmill and it's making some beautiful lumber. Well, there you have it. After some time and some work, we turned that big old ugly log into this beautiful stack of lumber right here. What I have left on the mill here will go for firewood. As you can see, here's the center of the log right here. Normally, I don't leave these this big. I usually get down to about a four by four, but this has a big crack that goes all the way through it. And as you get close to the center of the log, there's a lot more uh, imperfections in there. A lot of knots and splits and cracks and things like that. So uh, what's left here will go to firewood. I'll get you a uh, better look at this when we stack and sticker it and we get it all blown off and cleaned up, but uh, really nice stuff there. I got some uh, 8 quarter and 4 quarter. The wide boards are 18 inches. I got some that are about a foot wide, maybe a little wider, some like 8 inches wide. It's almost all clear. Very nice white oak. Nice to get in the tractor here out of the wind. But when we stack and sticker that lumber, we will tally it all up, see how many board feet we got out of it. We'll put a number to that and uh, see what that one log was worth after it was sawn into lumber. But before I wrap this video up, we need to pick a winner, uh, find out who the winner is from the last video. Melissa and I were splitting some firewood. If you remember, I thought I ran out of fuel on the conveyor and I went up to the house to get some gas and I had a phone call and I came back down and realized the uh, conveyor was just jammed up a little bit. So it took a lot longer than it normally did. There were hundreds and hundreds of guesses, but uh, we will pick that winner right now. So in the last video, Melissa and I were splitting some firewood, and we asked all of you to enter a guess to win a free t-shirt uh, for who could guess the correct time. Well, things were going pretty well. And then I thought the splitter or the conveyor ran out of gas, but actually it was jammed up a little bit. And I had ran up to the house and got a gas can. I had a phone call. All that took about 10 minutes, went back down, figured it out, and we finished splitting the wood. But it took 26 minutes and 24 seconds. So that was a screenshot from my phone. I just went to the comments on that video. We're going to search for 26, 24 there were almost 3,000 comments, by the way, and the winner is Adam Fisher. You guys are going to think this is rigged, but uh, Adam is my buddy that uh, I get the IBC totes from. So Adam is the winner of the t-shirt. But anyway, I think that's it for today's video. I appreciate you all being here. And like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share these videos with your friends. Thanks.